And now we have Brother Joseph for recommendation. He has a very balanced ministry. Davkin has done it again, releasing to Reddit videos where they show you exactly how elders are rejected or accepted behind closed doors inside this religion. And spoiler alert, turns out they don't actually get appointed by Holy Spirit. I'll keep my commentary to the minimum to let these clips speak for themselves. Please like and subscribe to this channel. Let's begin with this elders training video showing you an idealized dramatization made by this religion of elders talking about someone behind his back to judge him and decide whether he deserves to be an elder. He really does. We appreciate his willingness to help around the kingdom hall. I don't know what we would do without him. And he can fix just about anything. All we have to do is ask him, and he gets it done. He's so conscientious. He's one of our most reliable brothers. <laughs> I've seen that as well. Uh, I appreciate your comments, brothers. Um, but I noticed that his wife and his children did not try to comment at the meeting on Tuesday night. Do we know if they're well prepared for the, the meetings? Do they comment at other times? That's true. Uh, the wife and children are naturally shy. You know, I've known this family for many years. They're a good family. The brothers and sisters just love them. But they've never been good at participating at meetings. It's just not been their strong point. Hmm. Well, brothers, uh, let's open our shepherd book to chapter 8 and look at paragraph 4. Notice that while it's true that the brother who must measure up to the spiritual qualifications, what else must be considered? Well, it says here that we must consider the spirituality of those in his household and that the wife should be a good example. Mm -hmm. And really, that should be the same with the children according to their capacity. Uh, attendance at the meetings is obviously important, but so is participation. Uh, two of the children are adults, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But since they're living at home, we should be giving some thought as to how the congregation views them, whether they're a spiritual example. I think they want to comment, but they can't. They're just shy. Hmm. Are they quiet and reserved in other settings? Uh, for example, what about social gatherings with the brothers and sisters? You know, the family is timid when it comes to meetings. Yet, you know, when it comes to social gatherings, they're anything but timid. In fact, they're even the ones who plan and they take the lead in them. So are they really shy? Or is it mainly at the meetings that they're quiet? No, they enjoy speaking with the friends before and after the meetings. But during the meetings, we rarely hear from them. And I have to be honest, that when we spend time with them as a family socially, they are not shy. I wonder what he's doing to assist his family to comment at more at the meetings. Oh, it's certainly important that families of appointed men be exemplary. Uh, have any of you brothers spoken to him about this? Personally, I can say I haven't had that conversation with him, but I do think he would take that counsel well. Hmm. Uh, please look again at paragraph four. Is he doing what he reasonably can to assist his wife? Uh, based on the things you have mentioned, do you see the need for Brother Joseph to continue to work with his family so that he will be better qualified as presiding over his household in a fine manner? It seems like it would be a kindness to help him to see the value of helping his family to make spiritual progress. Thank you. I can now see that we can really help this brother to assist his family better. Do we all agree then to wait and follow through so in helping him with his family? Uh, thank you, brothers. I'm sure we'll see uh, progress with brother uh, Joseph's family. That's right. The potential elder gets judged because his family is determined to be faking their shyness to not participate regularly in the Watchtower study because in this religion, appearances are the most important thing. But let's roll the next clip where this religion will show us how elders 
actually get appointed. Now we can review the recommendation of Brother George. I noticed that he is showing continued good progress. Uh, let's open our shepherd book to chapter 8, paragraph 3. It mentions, Natural ability does not qualify a brother for appointment. He must be a spiritual man giving evidence that the Holy Spirit is operating on him. So what evidence have you seen that the Holy Spirit is operating on? Well, Brother George is easy to work with. He's open to suggestions, and he follows direction and counsel well. For example, our past counsel to be better balanced in his secular work, it's allowed him to show a pattern of setting better spiritual priorities. And he's also a peacemaker as well. I saw him take the blame for a delayed literature order, even though it wasn't his fault. He apologized and was very patient with the brother. Oh, excellent. Thank you, brothers. Um, is he zealous in the ministry, doing what he recently can? The entire family has a meaningful share in the different aspects of the ministry. And in fact, they participate in the ministry most weekends. Oh, very good. Is he a student of the Bible? Um, does he endeavor to help his family spiritually? Is he conducting a study with his wife and children who are at home? Yes. Uh, two of us had a shepherding visit on his family, and, you know, we noticed that they had a nice schedule of family worship. And his two young children, they actually were able to share some nice points from their family worship with us. Nice. And I noticed that as a family, they give meaningful, heartfelt comments during the meetings, which is a sign of good preparation. Mm -hmm. I want to add, I had a chance to work with his boys out in the ministry, and both of them had excellent presentations at the doors. Oh, wow. Well, thank you very much for your thorough comments about Brother George and his family. Uh, it gives me real confidence in this recommendation. And it tells me something else about you brothers, that you really do have the pulse of your congregation. Originally, elders were appointed by the congregation voting. This is what makes the most amount of sense if you truly want to go for appearances and popularity. But that's not how it's done today. While well, average Jehovah's Witnesses are told that now elders are appointed with the help of the Holy Spirit during the circuit overseer visit, we see that in reality, Elders still get appointed by voting, just not by the entire congregation. Instead, elders vote behind closed doors after determining whether someone's appearances are good enough and whether they're capable of bringing their whole family to work for the cult actively. Oh, thank you, brothers. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe support me on Patreon or on YouTube or on, on PayPal or on, on, on the street. Like if you see me on the street, throw a dime at me.